All right, so now that we have the database migrated and seeded, let's go ahead and get that data. So let's say var connects equals require dot slash dd forward slash connects. Uh, you might be wondering why are you using ES5? Not everybody has learned ES6 yet, despite the fact that they probably should. But for now, just for understanding sake, we're going to use this. Uh, so now that we've pulled connects in, let's go ahead and just create a, an endpoint. Say app.get forward slash to do's. And then we're going to put our callback with rec and res. So now in here, we can say connects. Uh, first, we're going to do raw SQL. Uh, so we'll do connects.raw uh, select all from to do's and then this is one of those things that that's nice about um, connects we can use promises so dot then we put our function this takes a parameter for the return data which in that case is to do's uh, and then we are going to res.send to do's. And then we'll see why we're going to add something on here in a minute. But first, we're going to say node server.js. We'll start this up. Then we're going to pull up handy dandy postman. We're going to say uh, localhost 8001 to, to do's. Yes, I did change it to 8001. So we will do this. When something is broken. Tudes <laughs> from t relation to do to to do to do's. There we go. So let's try this again. Pull up Postman, and we got this whole huge thing. But notice, like we don't we don't care about a vast majority of this. But there is this key called rows, and this contains everything that we want. So instead of returning to do's, we can say to do's dot row okay so then if we restart this yes I do have node bond but we're using this right now uh, we call this again and this is exactly what we need perfect so return to do or take home from this return to do or res dot send to do dot rows um, so let's go ahead and turn this into the shortcut so we're going to say connect dot select if you put nothing in there, it's raw. You can put a, um, a string, which is a, a, a column name. We can say connects.select. Our select all from to do's. And then we have our dot then. And we pass in our function with to do's. And here, actually, it filters those rows for us. So we can actually just say res.send. Um, to do's and then if we pull up postman uh, we call this again it works fine actually we need to restart this just to prove the point I didn't realize that until now that's okay because we get the same thing great awesome so that's how we get all of them um, if we want to just get one of them let's do raw again so connects dot raw select all from to do's where uh, we'll say ID equals one for some particular reason. So then we can say dot then function to do uh, res dot send to do. So then we call this because we need to restart the server. I'm going to use Nedmon. This is getting irritating. Server.js. And we call it. Canoe is not defined. It probably wouldn't be, would it? So we save connect. <laughs> And then we call it again, and that's exactly what we want. But like the other raw, we are just going to send to do dot uh, rows. And then if we call this again, we see that it just returns that easily. So we're going to do the last thing we're going to do in this video is the shortcut. So connects dot select all.
from to do's where. So it gives two parameters where the field and then the value is. So here we'll say ID equals one. And then we'll have the then function to do res dot send to do. So let's see if that works. Boom, there we go. Awesome. So that's how to get uh, an endpoint set up in Express, call for all the gets, and then in the next video we'll talk about putting information into the database. See you in the next video.